So parents, um, you might want to determine if you think your child is pretty fluent with their tens facts. By tens facts, I mean uh, two numbers that combine together to make 10. So this is something that we put a lot of emphasis on in the first grade cur curriculum. Fluent means I could say any number from one to 10 and the children would know what number would go with it to make 10. So if I were to say eight, they would know two. If I were to say uh, four, they would know six. If they are really having a hard time, this would be a game um, for making 10 that would be very appropriate for them and it does involve using a tens frame. Okay, so this game would just involve having one die you roll it, whatever that number is, have the child put that number into the tens frame, and they could put a six into the tens frame like so, filling up the top row first and then coming down here. And so they would say, okay, I have six in my ten frame, I need four more to make ten you would be playing against them. You would also have a 10 frame and you would be doing the same thing. The object of this game would be the first one to get their 10 frame completely filled. So on the next roll, oh, I rolled a six. I do not have six boxes left, so I lost my turn. The other person rolls, oh, got a one. So I put one in. And now I would say, I have seven in my tens frame. I need three more to make ten. Now you have to roll a number three or less to win this game. If you roll over, oh, good, I rolled a one. So now I say, oh, I have eight in my tens frame. I need two more to make ten. And so you get how this works. You have to have the exact roll or less in order to put your counters in. So the first one who fills their 10 frame exactly by the roll is the winner. Good, if you wanted to do it pairwise. So this way would be putting in four like this. So it looks more like a doubles fact. I rolled one put it there. Now I could look at this and say, oh, I have five. I need five. Roll the three. And look at that. It's easy to see. Oh, I have eight. I need two more to make ten. You can set this game up either five-wise or pair-wise. I think what I would do at the beginning of the game, decide if we were going to do our ten frames pair-wise or five-wise. So that is a great way to reinforce um, the tens facts.